I try to see the bigger picture at all times. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like whatever outlets you have to go through to make sure the message is conveyed. Like it's, it's testimonial rap. Coming from where I'm from, my people, my family, my friends, or whoever I associate with knows my struggle, knows my passions, knows my pains, knows what I've been through. So if I don't put that on a broader scale, then I would disappoint not only myself, but the rest of the community that, that, that doesn't have a voice. Really? One more day. Right. Ah. <laughs> you good in. Yes, <laughs> oh, you invite me to the show? This is the infamous Paint City right here. This is it. You know, a lot of the guys was out here and trying to make a living. I'm trying to make a living here. One of my um, verses from Glass, from my video, from my song, my video Glass, was uh, my homie Big Body. He had got shot, you know what I'm saying? So, and I say, I seen him bleeding on the ground and I said a prayer. Please don't take him, Lord. That's my partner because we need him here. He got some children and a lover and a mother that love him so dear. So, he's bleeding on the ground right there in the fence. Feel me? So, like, I'm, I'm telling his story. Little Smoke, the little guy that you just seen, you know what I mean? Come up and dap me down. I'm telling his story. So, just, uh, just an array of people, and not just in this community, just communities all over, you know what I mean? That are dealing with the same struggle and that it, and it relates to mine as well. So, correct. Right. I mean, I basically like put, applied myself and realized that it wasn't the best situation for me to be in. And I knew that I was educated enough to go further, you know what I mean? And it was the situation that I was in when I was in the streets and, you know, doing whatever I had to do to make a living. I always had in the back of my mind that I got to make it out of this situation. And when I was doing those things, I was still scribbling in my notepad and describing like everything I was doing, you know what I mean? So it was like, I know I got a gift, you know what I'm saying? I know that I'm able to make it out of this situation and I kept it in the back of my mind that nothing would be able to stop me. That's what helped me, perseverance and staying down and just being able to envision the dream. You know what I mean? Being able to realize that there's something better in life than just being over here and, and being around a drug infested area. You know what I mean? I'm appreciative. I thank God every day. Because a lot of people don't even make it to a job <laughs> in general. Like, and, and I'm blessed. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm a living testimony. Everybody know it. Because I come from some of the worst conditions possible. And for me to be able to rise up, you know, feels pretty good. <laughs> I've always had a reading this smile, but now my, a few more of my teeth are showing now. <laughs> In real life. 